I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be. What the freak do we do now? I have no idea. I gotta do that. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. We are still back. We are still back. What are you talking about? We are now back to Resident Evil 2 and I am so down to get straight into this game and experience the things that Claire Redfield is about to go through. Now if you guys haven't been following up with the story so far, we recently defeated the first boss and now we've met up with Sherry who initially told us that we need help and I was like, girl, you, have you got bad manners or something? Turns out she was actually referring to William Birkin being behind us, but she thought we needed help. No, we needed none. With that said guys, I feel like I just want to get straight back into this because I really enjoyed the way Claire Redfield's pacing is going. So I just feel like we should get this started. By the way, if you do enjoy this episode, you know what to do. All right. So we've seen this cutscene as Leon. Will it be like the same thing? You got it. Parking lot. Many grunts indeed. Gotta get through this with Sherry. Where do we go that's different? Here. There you go. Come on. Yeah, we gotta go. Over now, there! Over what? She know this layout? Okay. Right, so she must have either came down this way or she a regular visitor. It's All right. closed. Hit it. Bro, we could see that from back there, but look, I get it, you're young. That's fine. So, solution. What are we about to do? I mean, yeah, it, it, it's still closed. What do you want us to do? Run up to it? Check over here with this thing here? Because, of course, we don't have the card. Damn it. Cutscene. We need a key card. We know who has it. One. You ain't gonna lift that. Here, come out. For real? If it's this simple, though... Nah, that thing's mechanically controlled. Lock down! Criminals would have probably tried that. You're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Someone back Sherry? there. What a freak is that? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Um... Pretty little girl to leave your house in the middle of this mess. How's it going, pops? On um, the ground, hands behind your head. What the heck? You can't be serious. On the ground. Now. Bro, just whip out your gun. Like, my god. Okay, who the freak Jerry, is this dude? Tie your hands. Why are you doing Shut this? up. Tie her. This dude's already gotta die. Okay then. You tie her up now, or she dies. Yeah, where are these zombie dogs at? Come on, hurry up! This dude. Dang. What's this all about? Yeah, right? Child endangerment, for starters. On your behalf? Wow. Sherry. This is totally different. Come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your business. You I swear to God, my brother is stars and I <laughs> Sherry. She's winded. Get over here. She's down, I felt that. What's your name? Our name? What's your name? Wow, manners. Claire! Sherry, you come with me now. Or say goodbye to Claire. I mean, if you okay, take okay, her, okay, she's gotta say goodbye. Okay, all right. I mean, if you she disappears from Claire's side, mom. we're gone anyway. Absolutely. Don't listen to him. He's shh. We've already said. Stop hurting her, please. Don't tell me how to do my job. Job? Sure? Let me go. Let me go. We're gonna break free. Obviously, nobody taught you manners. Oh, come. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I'll get you. Woo! Damn! So why the freak he headed? She dropped something like a pendant? Will that be a key item somehow? Stay safe, Sherry. We're coming back. Alright, well let's go, man! Is there gonna be different stuff from here then? So obtain the parking okay. garage key card? Key card first. Hold up. This door. And then that asshole oh. gets what's coming to him. This door was never open last time. Hold up a second. Okay, reload this good stuff. Can we just like go straight Must round where this that crap? Guy came from. Yeah, by the looks of things. Dang, there's a letter attached to this thing. We got like a. Uh, whoa, what the f? Uh, I'm gonna calm down. This is all new. I'm excited. First of all, this here Raccoon Monthly June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes. What is the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. It's please Chief Baron Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, arts preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we've missed anything. Uh, how about hurting people too? Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Iron said with a soft smile. Uh, soft Bastard smile? Is the police chief? Yeah, what the heck, man? I don't know about that one. Okay, police station map B1. Thank you. All right, what's this note about here? The express elevator for chief's office, not for general use. Uh, okay, well, let me call that thing. Okay, card. Huh. 
course we're not gonna have the key for that. We need the diamond key. Look at this crap, though. It's all new. If we get up to the chief's office, perhaps uh, we can find the way out. Probably gonna get the key now off of him as opposed to uh, the prison cell over there. Now, I am excited for this. It feels totally different. Like, that zone you see is completely locked away. We ain't getting that way, bro. We ain't supposed to. So we got it. Okay, I'm almost glad that door's locked. There's clearly things behind it. We do have this way open here, though. Now, we've been this way before. The dogs shouldn't be out just yet. Let me check on the map what we gotta do. Check really any of the routes. Hello, hello? Anyone doing some practice? Not quite. In fact, uh, yeah, someone got practiced on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, okay, let's check this out here then. I assume the box is gonna have the uh, car parking key. Let's go ahead and examine this thing. Rotate it around. Open it up. Please give me the wonky old janky key. It's gonna be on my own there. Yes! There it is. A wild wonky. Now we already know where we use that thing. So let's just check around here a bit more. We know about Mr. Raccoon as well and his dang messages, okay? You don't want us to shoot him. Look, I get some kind of point bonus reward thing, so uh, I gotta do what I gotta do. Neon's already tuck it though. What the flame rounds over here just got away? Let's get it, man. Alright. Now, any more ammunition? I may have missed. I think on this occasion, that's it for the most part in this room here. Don't want to try and wake the zombies, so we'll leave them too. Let's go back to the car. I want to open up the police car first, and then we'll check out this route there. I feel like we're going to fly through this again for the most part, because it is uh, semi-repeating the same stuff we've done before. So, examine this thing. Go ahead, press the button. Okay. That should open up the car. Right over here. Look at this crap. I'm waiting. Hurry up. What is that? JMB HP3? 13 shot 9mm handgun, first to use double stack magazines? Alright, I feel like that's gonna be an upgrade towards this weapon here. Let's go ahead and add a shortcut to this one. Right there. I feel like this one's gonna be much better. With the laser sight too, uh, yeah, no brainer. Alright, pups. I was trying to be cool right now, you know, with the, because of the dogs and stuff, but why is there, um, you know, why are the liquors here again, you, you know? Well, that was probably the hint that you gotta slow the freak down, alright? So, let's take it nice and easy. This is going to be a lot more tense than before, though. Let's try and see if we can get through this movie. Well, I know you're roaming. I know, big fella. Just give me a break and, uh, you know, let me get the arms and we won't have to run into each other. My dude going in the canine place right there. There's a blue herb down there, too. I'll take down the way back if I really need to. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to this. Gently does. Come on, Claire. Man, okay, those dogs got no chance to even take a break. Look at this crap. Ooh-wee! Yeah, you keep feasting on that, fella. You keep feasting on that. I mean, thanks, but also, like, no thanks, you know? She's trying to me to... He's curious. All right. All right. Keep it moving. Another fella just up there, too. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! Bro! He's smelling my back meat. I may have fired, I may have slipped one out. Have a scary moment. Ignore him, he's gonna be curious. Just ignore him. Let them be, let them be. And let me be, please. Well, I feel like I've gotta pick up the pace or something, but I can't. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, we're good through here. Woof, I go nice and slowly. Okay, that's the thing you find about Claire's playthrough. Every encounter has just changed up. It feels a lot more fearful. I am physically getting invoked a lot of fear in the process of this. All right, what we got over here? That's for the crank handle, which of course I don't have. Great. Oh, crap. That's in my storage back in the uh, starting zone, isn't it? Crap, dude. All right, we're in the morgue. I think we roughly know what we got to do here. And I think there's a dude in the back waking up. It's not. Not yet, anyway. Let me check my ammo. Should be good with the pistol, but all we got to do is get the key and get the freak back out of here. Our coach is in here, right? You asshole. What? You caught him that? Bro, you shot him first, come on! Alright, now I'm gonna take this guy down, because obviously he's gonna pose a problem otherwise. Four shots, five, six, seven... Are you kidding me? Seven headshots? Eight? What? Nine? How is he taking- That's ten headshots, and he's still standing, what the hell? Eleven... Wait... Is this zombie glitching out? I think he's still alive as well, hold up. Okay, he's dead, thank gosh. Alright, the revolver's gotta come back out for this room. I don't trust nothing right now. That should have been a lot more successful than that, but like 11 headshots, bro. We got my dude over here storing one of them flashbangs. Well, I don't care about your fidgeting, okay? There you go, thank you very much. Now, I guess he's gonna wake back up. Was so, he good? That's a headshot and he didn't flinch. Same deal with the key, there's that. Now he's gonna wake up straight away. Now that dude didn't wake up this time. He's already down, so we don't gotta worry about that. We're pretty much done here. Dang it. No cut throughs for the room yet. Oh, boy. He down on the floor. What am I supposed to- can I get round him? I'm gonna have to try- I wanna conserve my ammo as best I can. Might end up brushing up with you. 
just imagine it. I can't talk with these dudes. I'm trying to stop. Stop. I got. I, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I can't handle it. I'm out. I can't do this. I don't. I really can't, guys. Oh my god. What the hell? I wonder how they deal with flame rounds to the forehead. You know what I'm saying? Right, he's on the wall over there right now. I could maybe get through without, you know, alerting him. I almost feel like I got more control over it seeing where I'm at. They're both on the wall together. Alright, I could slip around this. This would be really good. Bro. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't get around. This is a tight spot. It's designed to be this way too. This sucks. Uh, back to the drawing board. I mean, I could pump them both with one of the flame rounds, you know, and then just get through. I don't know how much damage this will do. Like 10, 20% to the health. It's a flame round. I thought it would have imploded them, but ugh, guys, I don't know. There's just so many more liquors though. <laughs> yep, showing off. Yeah, uh, okay, stop. Stop. Thank you. Where the freak did that thing come from anyway? You know what? That's it, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Clean the walls. Sharpest corners, quickest way back. I'm still in the mindset, guys, that shooting them things is the worst thing you can do. Woo! And we made it through. At least this time. God dang. What? There's another one? Like, I had no idea. I thought there was only two. But how is it like three? This is unbelievable. What the freak? I wasted a flame round. That completely skimmed that dude's forehead as well, or brain head, whatever you want to call it. So now do we have the key for this office here? We do. Okay, let's go ahead and use it. Never had access to this room here. But I think it's interesting. So what we got? Nice. We pull that. Can maybe get out. We'll get access to the lift, right? Let me see. Illuminate. Oh yeah, we have our out right now. What's this down here? Some more high grade. Remember that location. And uh, we've also got a locker of which has, wait, what the, what is that? Some kind of stock upgrade? For the GM uh, 76, I think that's it. GM 79, is that that guy there? But you can't, you can't combine this? Why can't you combine? Come on! Okay, so now if I combine this with this dude here, probably makes the shots more accurate, I'm guessing. Great for area damage, slow for really- Yeah, it's still giving us the same description, so we're yet to really figure out what else we can do with that. Yeah, hold up. I think there's uh, another item out here somewhere. Saying that this one is still red. Might be in relation to the uh, blue herb that's in the office room right there. Let's go, man. As I said before, totally new zones, apparently. Going up to this dude's- Wait, the office? Hold up, because if we go to the back end of the office, I think I know what room we're talking about. Woo! The music. That's kind of like, good in a way, I guess? I, I don't know what should I feel, should I feel sad? That's the last of the storage. I'm gonna have to leave it for now in that case. Just this way here. Slow down. Swift movement. Oh, hell yeah, dude, look at this crap. Though here you find a taxidermy. Pick up the notes, take a read. Copy of emails from Chief Irons. As thanks for your unwavering support, I've deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over the subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. And get rid of them if you must. Chief Irons, I've run into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away, but don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you and everything will be all right. You're up to the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're Umbrella employees. I'm close to completing G, and no asshole is going to get it in my way. These letters are all wrote as well by William Birkin, okay? Please, Chief Irons, get your crap together and do your effing job, but I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. Woo, that dude being ordered around like a freaking piece of crap. I'm kind of glad I'm just saying. Right, what's my man got in his office space, okay? Uh, behind this door here. Dude, you got taxidermy upon taxidermy by this point. How big is this place? Look, it goes all the way round. This is dope, man. Hold up. I'm gonna take the ammo. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and reload the uh, SMG ahead of time. But now I think I can go ahead and safely get the stuff from back there because I know there's a storage box just here. Now, what are you looking out into, though? What is that? Just open land by the looks of things. All right, must be the back end of the station, I guess. You see how this is like a secret wall, though? Into this room? Like, you shouldn't be able to see it if you're, like, in the office. That was like a secret way back for him, almost. Okay. Well, what the freak you're reading? A taxidermy log? Okay, now these are just the creepiest things I've ever read, so I shouldn't have, uh, you know, I should have left that. Guys, I'm just saying, some things I'd rather not know the details about, okay, and how this thing came to be. Is there a doorway over here, too? There is. Okay, that's the heart key. We don't have that. So is maybe now where we find it? It's it. feels so mystical, though. Like, you feel the vibes of this place? It's really cool, man. Just another doorway. To here. Ooh. Look at this. Sealed off location. Gonna need some things to get through here, right? Similar puzzle then, yeah. Thank God. 
It's a second one. A key card. Yeah, I mean, you say thank God, but it's kind of uh, on the other side of that, you know? Oh my gosh, bro. Relief. Let's go. That looks like at least half of the key. Nothing around. It's just stuffed in the back. So we have the second key. A fancy looking key. You bet ya. Repair shop. Let's, uh, from the description regarding the electronic lock on the door of the police office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from our stores. So I think we've read about this roughly before. It's just slightly changed up. He left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, don't hesitate to uh, check him out in the clock tower. So I think I know exactly what I gotta do here. Might do got some ammo. Combine. 86 rounds. Holy crap. Okay. I like how that sounds. So we don't have the crank yet. I was certain we did. Clearly not. There must be another location to pick one up. All right, noted. Well, it pretty much gives us the heart key to exit back out of the office and straight back, if I'm correct, into the other side of the RPD, or aka Robox Police Department. You know what I'm saying? But the door's locked up here. You can't get around. We investigate downstairs. There is one door with a heart key, if I'm correct. Let's check this out. All right, now we have my man here. He's going to bust on through. Let me get some clearance, and then we'll let him get his entrance done, and we'll take him out. So uh, now we wait. What the freak's he doing? He's taking his time, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get this done. I can't be dealing with this waiting bull crap. I'm into this room here. So this is where the interrogation stuff takes place from, correct? Let me out. Wait. No. Now we know this is smashed. Um, is there a jump scare inbound like any moment right now? As I'm calling it, all right. Give me the ammo. This feels strange. I don't like this. Oh boy. Maybe we have to smash it to get through. Something else in here though. Can always tell because the room stays red. Portable safe. I was thinking when we're going to start finding these. Uh, well, hold up a sec. There we go. Guys, my memory was trash on that one. <laughs> that took me like three minutes to figure out. And that will give us then one of the spare parts. Okay, now my inventory's all checked out, so that's fantastic. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> my God! <laughs> Why do we have liquors writing let me out? What the hell is this game turning into? See you later. See you later. What is going on? What is going on? Decent jump scares though. Okay, that's just a zombie, that's fine. Uh, officer, you lost your hat. Uh, soon to be your head too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, fella. Hold up. <laughs> oh my god, is that it? Are they a one? Nope. He ain't dead. This is kind of a little bit of a loophole, I guess, to cheat the system. That's two rounds. Let's see, how many shots do they take to die? This. He's still not dead. Bro, look at him. Oh my god. Now are you dead? We squirming a lot. Yeah. There you go. So that's more than two rounds with the flame launcher. My best guess then, at least we know for future, is when we go back through the kennel section, you avoid it. You don't try and take down. Confiscation report, so it's about one of the uh, other lockers and opening it. We've read that before. Always check your lockers, guys. Worth doing. And that is the high grade. Nice. All right. So I guess we're going to have to work our way around here. Let's take a look. Don't think there's any zombies roaming in this area, at least. We're still kind of clear. But we're going to encounter Mr. X very, very soon. Well, I mean, actually, what the freak am I talking about? We've encountered him like 10 times. Here, open that one. I think that one opened too. We got another flash. Good stuff. Clicked on those. And then we have what appears to be the good rounds. Good stuff. Yeah, man. Like, I'm going to try and avoid taking down all the liquors. Uh, I'm going to use flashes to pretty much stun the more dangerous things. That's going to be everything I'm going to do. That's all searched. All right. Is that door open? Just now. There are some zombies up here. Not sure if there's one or two. Let's take a listen. No, and that way, I think the cop is over in this corner here. Here we go. Come on, fella. Make your presence known. Let's get this done, shall we? There you go. Look at him standing there staring, you weird looking thing. There you go. There's the second one as well. Come on. Come on, you can sit down. So this is going to be good for zombies. Is he dead? Let me just double check. <laughs> All right. And that will do that nicely. And then flame rounds. Let's go ahead and get it. What else we go around here? What is this? That's the large gear. So that's for one of the components, at least. Inventory again, fully stacked up. Second slot for the key. Okay. What are we seeing? Here we are. What is this room? Okay. Oh, survival knife. Nice. Oh, I hear you somewhere. Oh, I see you somewhere too. It's okay. Give me that good stuff. Okay, no, I can't, I can't take it anyway. Bit awkward. Problem solved. Now we've got some of that space. So that's the first electronic box part. May as well examine this thing, open it up. And inside the boxed electronic part, what do we find? The electronic part. So to free up space simply, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use this thing out of the way. Then we basically know as well the route we've got to go after. We have the uh, diamond key. So that's that problem solved. Then I think we should be able to get the second one and really just clear this zone as fast as possible. Throw this guy in there. 
One of two down. So, really, the only way we're getting back into the regular old RPD is out this window here. So we're gonna have to do the same, I think, puzzle here, at least to clear the water system. That didn't break, though, this time. So we can actually get back up on ourselves. It's interesting. We can still fix this up, though, ahead of time to remove the chopper. And then we already know that Mr. X will make his announcement, so, uh... Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! Whoa, 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 lady! You're gonna have to slow down with that one. <laughs> That gun minces them up real quick. My dude's there too. All right, hold tight a second. I gotta make sure she's dead. Go ahead and take the corner. Where's the best spots? In fact, let's go ahead and sit this guy down first too. Okay. She's definitely dead. Uh, yeah. And then as for this guy here, and around him, just line up nice with the forehead. And yeah, he wasn't dead, you see? Are you dead now? I think what I'll do is I'll test with this gun. See, we can waste less ammo. So we use uh, this one to actually take them down. And then we swap over to the SMG just to finish them off. Okay, we've turned this valve here. Unless maybe it's not broken yet, so that might be like the on switch. We'll go ahead and take the herbs down here though, before Leon snatches them up. So if we pull this right now, is that it? Let me see. That was so much more simple, yeah. Well, we know Mr. X is going to make his announcement, so... Should we get the ammo? Heck yeah, dude, let's go. Stocked upon that. Here we go. Red herb down there. We could, I guess, combine that ahead of time, let's go. Like so. Gives us the mix. Half item two. Now, free up this space for me. How's it going, top hat and dingus? All right, let's knock that thing off. Oh, oh my god, okay. okay so now he's back, basically, guys. He's gonna be chasing us down. Now, if I go back this way here, I think I may have trapped myself, actually. This might be the dumbest thing I've done yet. Let's, uh, let's confirm if he climbs the ladder, then he's uh, taken my out. So, yeah, about that. Um, all right, now I'm gonna have to go back this way. Certainly can't come in here. Just confirm if the, I guess, music goes away. But it's safe. Listen. Quieting and down, so he's lost us again. Yep. He can't come in here. Can't open the door. Where's he at? I can't. Let me just see. He's definitely upstairs, and there's only one way for me to get round. I have kind of trapped myself here. Like, it was a bit of a dumb thing to do. But I was nervous, guys. Give me a break. Okay. Sounds like he's going away. <sighs> yeah, he's still above. I'm gonna have to wait for him to walk the other way in the RPD so I can jump down. It's just a waiting game now, guys. That's what I gotta do. Oh my god, whoa, he's much cl- Okay, alright, now I gotta try and like- <laughs> Come on! Open the door. Wait. Oh, you see him jumping? Wait. If he's going downstairs, we have our out. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. It sounds like he's right upstairs, so you hear? Oh man, this sucks. He's chasing us down. This is how we can get back out and then get things rolling. Okay, so the chopper is moved out of the way, but we're gonna have to try and establish pronto, by the way, another way to, I guess, get around this. And uh, yeah, top hat's right there, by the way. I wonder if that'll stay there, like a permanent landmark of something we did. All right, so we need to try and find the crank ASAP. Okay, this might be worth going for. Screw it, man, why not? Let's go. Five wooden planks. Yeah, we can afford to start boarding up windows too. Let's get through here, dude. Mr. X has no idea where the freak we're at. Nice. Now then, what we've got to go ahead and do is get to the records room. There is a liquor there. I'm hoping we'll be okay. We're about to find out, man. By doing it. I'm probably failing. Just a passing visit, all right? Bro, why you gotta be up right now? Why? Just why? Okay, I'm gonna open the door behind me. I gotta take the zombie down, because that would be a big problem. What? The fr Hold up. Did it glitch out, because I'm not there? No. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way! sucks. Um, this is really, really bad. So I'm gonna go back to the dark room and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there if I make it there in one piece. It's still open. Yeah, they're all dead in here, thank goodness. How are we gonna get down that corridor? You see, the fact that it's so... I get... Oh my god, no, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead, we're dead. Uh, duck and weave. <laughs> Nothing I can do. I, I can't afford to walk. I can't kill it. Yep, we, uh, we're in a lot of danger, guys. This really sucks. This really sucks. I, I actually don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is insane. Okay, he's done. That's it for him. Woo! That takes care of the liquor down here then. So you can take them down with one flame round and then one acid round. That one you gotta get rid of though, man. The only problem now is once I get to the actual room I need to be, there's a liquor and I think there's gonna be two zombies because I didn't barricade the first room. This is the first, like, major hiccup that I'm experiencing. Just trying to recap, in fact. 
Now that the liquor is taken care of that patrols down here, I believe the back of this door is the heart key. Then we can go through to the records room and get the crap exactly that we need to in turn, I guess, go over to the second floor, I believe. Then we go ahead and use the jack there, and then we can go ahead and get the last piece of the puzzle, literally, to get this thing rolling. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's take a listen. We went through a door. The trouble is, is it an upper floor? You know, on the ground floor. It's our problem here, man. Let's go ahead and risk it. I think you can also sneak around Mr. X for the most part. If you just walk, I may hear you when you run. That just scared me so much. You opened the door, right? This sounds kind of far away. Try and get this done as quick as we can. So the liquor dilemma is now taken care of. We go through this door. In fact, you know what? Whilst Mr. X isn't here, we can do this. Again, no running. So 208. That looks like some... Are they flame rounds? They look something different. They might be flame rounds still. We've also got an ammo pouch. Right there, a hit pouch. What? I feel like he's going to be, like, busting through any minute, guys, basically. I'll throw it on the three for this occasion. So what? We can't get the hit pouch yet. Get the other one. i got to make sure it doesn't come through. He might be coming through. So 208 we can go for. Okay. Oh, my God, bro. Is he going to come through or not? He's right behind me, though, man. He's right behind me. So 103. Definitely one we can get. That's the gunpowder. Oh, that's the knife. Okay. I think that's the only one, bro. I think I used it on the worst thing, pretty much. Yeah. Never mind. Another knife is always good. So, let me see. If he comes through, I can loop him around here and then go back to the dark room. Ideally, not because I want to progress. I leave in this room until I know where Mr. X is. He's close. When he opens the door, it really makes a lot of noise. I don't know. I, I have no idea where he is. I really don't. I think he's here. There is a door over there you can go through. So if he walks past this room, let me try and hide out here. If he doesn't see me, I can just get around. Hmm. He's pretty much stopped walking as a whole. Interesting. That means he must be uh, a good distance away. Oh, here we go. So he's to the other side of me. The only issue is with this room. If you go in here, you are locked in. You know, you have to make sure you get the stuff. Screw it. Let's go. I'm just, like, doing nothing. It's just getting boring. Let's go. Simply put, just don't run. Just do not run. And you'll be good. So yeah, this is the heart key. So we don't have to ever go down that corridor. Thank goodness for that. Woo! Heart key has no use. Okay, look, I'm gonna discard my heart. You see what? Ah, uh, okay. Most importantly from this room, we need the jack. There we go. That's a nice tool. He knows what... Wait. No, bro. Okay, right. Which way is he coming around? Let's see. Come around this way here. We're good. We can go back to the dark room, I guess. Woo! Don't be juking me out. The liquor is taken care of here, as said before. So this is probably, like, the best route to clear out if you're gonna have to. I feel like this was wise. Why are you camping? <laughs> Stop with that bullcrap, okay? Gosh! Alright, guys, this is the linen room. Uh, okay, there's the second one of these, so we may as well go ahead and get this done. This will give us access to, I guess, the final part of the, uh, switch things that we need. There we go. So now we have the second button. We can access all the different ammo stuff. Holy crap! He just backhanded that zombie! What? That is amazing, man. Okay, let me see him do it again. Hold up. <laughs> My dude abusing them zombies. What a legend. Yeah, we're fighting for the same team after him. Okay, no, we're not. We're really not. I'm gonna climb down here a sec. I gotta, I gotta like, loop de loop with this dude whilst taking down the zombies. Hold up. Okay. Reload, reload, reload. Here we go. Okay. One shot. Two shot. All right, let me see. He came down the ladder. You see that crap? And they're gonna have to go around again. Whoa! One shot staggered him? Hold up. Is this gun better for staggering Mr. X? Let me try that one more time. Hold up. God, oh my God. Yep. Oh my gosh. That was stupid. Keep going. Shh. Run. Basically. All right, go ahead. Use this thing just whilst we've got like a second of time. There we go. Can't exactly use it, but you know what I'm saying. Then I'll clear the room out of the zombies, and then I'm probably gonna have to try and get rid of Mr. X. Yep. Basically. Let me see how well you can hide from him. So if I was to do this... Mm, nah. He did kind of think, like, where the freak she go? Yeah, just behind a pillar. Yeah, it doesn't work. Bro, one shot from this gun staggers me straight, straight away. Let me try that one more time. Okay, nice straight line. Here we go. Again. Look at that. What's with the noise? The zombies can come in the hall right now? That actually might be a good thing when you think about it. Let's try this again. Hold up. Drop to the knee. This is it. This is our chance. Okay. Now, if we take these two zombies out... Let's see what we can do here. Better move it. Bro, just the freak, man. Set those two down. 
I don't know what that sound was. I don't care. Mr. X has sat down. We do this and we can get this clock tower part done out of the way. So we have to move this one first. Let's go. He's back up. Are you kidding me though? That was no time at all. So we can get this one at least moved. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe, maybe. We're going to have to do the puzzle with him here. I think. Let's get time. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Why am I still doing this? What am I doing? Do I want to die or something? Yeah, I want to die, basically. Oh my gosh. Why won't he just stay down? Because he's, uh, you know, he's Mr. X. He doesn't do that. Let me climb up the ladder. Yeah, of course he is. So it seems like, though, his weakness is definitely the revolver gun, you know? All right, we bring him around. It gives us some time to try and get this. I'm going to have to keep doing this, guys. <laughs> Seems ridiculous, but it's going to work, I think. Wait. Ooh, he went to cut me up. He went to cut me up, you see? All right, move that one in place. Let's see where he's coming from. So I think we can do this, man. You see? All right. Could I give him the loop de loop around this bookcase here? This got to be agitating him by this point. Still behind? Okay, I don't think we don't need the fourth one there. Completely optional. So now if we climb through here, we can get over to the clock tower and just get done what we need to do. Here we go. I think the clock tower as well is a point where he can't travel through. Here we go. We're going to have to stagger these zombies if any get in our way. One right there. Hmm. Yeah, skip it, man. Let's go. Yeah, all right, soldier boy. Now, I think this room, because it's a puzzle one, is a safe room to an extent. Like, they can actually get you here. So this one, in turn, firstly gets the staircase down. Then we take the large cog. But we also need another one. Which I think we find somewhere in this place. Might be on the table just down here. Uh, no, that's paper. Snatch that back. Can I am just out there? I'm literally going by what people said, man. I really hope it is the case, you know, that Mr. X can't. Yeah, come on, Claire, it's not gonna fit. Stop. Okay, good. Okay, so we put the large gear in the one upstairs. We simply go back down. We place the large gear in the slot below. And that will give us exactly what we need. There we go. <sighs> Thank goodness I remembered how to do this. Came along much quicker as well than last time. I remember getting this. This took me a hot minute, you know? Oh, yeah. 3 a.m. It's the witching hour. I didn't realize it was that time last time. Either way, whatever happens with that bow, I don't give a crap. What I care about is that small electronic part which falls neatly on the floor for me to go ahead and collect. All right. This is what we needed then. What I've got to do is open up the box. Then I think the route I'm going to go is over the top because uh, all we got to do is pass the one police zombie and then we're pretty much good here. I've been fairly smart with the ammo, at least I feel so, so far. So I don't really want to uh, go back to the uh, little gun place just yet. <laughs> Didn't fall for it. Didn't fall for it. All right, so this takes us through the top here. Uh, we got a blue up on route. I'm going to go ahead and swipe that thing because I think I've got a red in storage. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing done. Okay, go ahead and slot you in there. Now, all we gotta do is align these things. Okay, turn that one that way. Just see, I guess that current flowing. We're gonna pretend I knew what I was doing right there, okay? <laughs> what a different sequence of events though, you know? A lot safer? Actually, I don't wanna say that, just in case. Where are all those though? that. Loads of parking permits, but we want the one hanging on the lanyard. Because this. Uh, Resident Evil 7 much? You guys know what I'm saying? You know, those of you who've seen that might get this. It's like a reference, though. Come on, Zoe. What do you want to tell us, you know? Hello? Good to see you again, Claire. Is that dude? How are you knowing when I'm there? We've got unfinished business. Ooh. Crap. So I can't escape this place yet? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Why is he playing right? with this? Like, for now. What? I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Why call us if you want to hang up? Creep. I'm observing that monitor. Is that Sherry? You stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that thing, I could let you go. Uh oh. This looks like an orphanage, ma'am. Don't worry, Sherry. It'll be all over soon. Are you about to get popped, are you? It's about the only way I want this thing to there end right has now. to be a way out of here. Ooh. Don't tell me what... Bruh, we're about to start playing as Sherry? Why are we going to take a stuffed doll? I guess we'll take it. I'm going to examine it because I'm weird. What's this doll hiding? We hide stuff back here? Okay. What even is that? A block. A weathered looking old block. Do we then examine this in turn? A picture block. Must be part for a puzzle though. We're actually playing as Sherry right now in the orphanage. You see, this is the sort of stuff I've been so excited for in this game. So straight over here, look, I've basically done this already. How about that? So all we gotta do is, uh, I guess, swap them around. Okay, that one needs to go like that. 
Then we want this one to rotate as well. Okay, that's near enough linking up. There's a few breaks. We see this. Okay, there we go. That looks good, right? Uh, confirm. What? What? Is that not right? Hold up. It says confirm. I feel like that's good. Oh, wait, we got to match the top. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was like one of the easiest things once you realize that. A pair of scissors. Maybe a defense weapon or something? A pair of children's scissors. It will do. This is awesome, bro. So the door is locked up. Can we use the scissors on the door, maybe? Examine these things. Uh, okay. Well, they, they will probably cut paper. Hey, bro, she is on that great escape ball crap. She's been watching too many films, and I'm glad right now she's prepped for this moment when she will get caught again, unless she's been using this as like a uh, hideaway. What is this? You don't want to know, little girl. You don't want to know. As you can see on the screen there, I see too much, actually. This feels like totally different atmosphere, though. We're almost sneaking around the place. It's cool. Where could he be? You know, I'm just looking around this place. It's up there. <sighs> you know, this just changes up the danger. Like, the true danger now isn't a zombie. It's being caught by this creep. And he could be creeping around anywhere right now. What's this here? Letter, Sally's Diary. January 4th. Wednesdays are perfectly great days because we get snacks and ice cream. I hate the last place I was at. The teachers were all meanings. It's just study, 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 and there wasn't any ice cream. I love it here. Six days later, there was an important rule made today. Everyone must write a diary, get health checkups, and we ain't allowed outside by ourselves. It's good we don't have to go to school. I don't want to go get picked up for my old clothes, especially not by the guy that used to wear them. The orphanage director is coming today, so I'm going to wear my favoriteest checkered blue outfit. The director is tall, has a mustache. Okay, so it's that dude there. Kind of figured. And this way here. So what's this all about? We're making like our own climbing frame? This is dope if so, no way. We literally are. What? Okay, what does it see? Rainbow. Yeah, that's no help. One level there. It says don't run on the poster. That could be a hint. Oh, we're busting on out. Good work, Sherry. Phase one of X amount done. Where are we heading to? Where are we at? Just look around. I have no idea, guys. Dude, I feel like I'm in Resident Evil 7 or something. You know the house? This is crazy. This says nursery. Okay, so don't run, he says. On the low. So this door here. So we can't open that. That was blocking off this way. Oh, oh. See, can we hide in a place like this? We can. This is going to come in handy. Let's crawl under here. Any more notes? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's keep on moving through. What's that rattling over there, though, you know? What is that? No idea. All right, now this doorway here looks very ominous. You see this? Okay, it's locked up. So we're going to have to go through the nursery. Oh, Sherry, you got to open those doors carefully right now. No busting on through. That's how you're gonna get caught by the true danger right now. All those zombies and William Birkin, they ain't nothing compared to this monster. Guys, that was pretty good that dialogue. Okay, give me a ring. Maybe, but we're gonna get out that simply. I don't know why I'm having to whisper. I get so like in the zone with these sort of stuff, man. Hold up. There's nothing there. This place is so quiet though, you know, for him not being here. Apparently there's nothing we can pick up. Just see the front door. We can check it. It's gonna be locked up. We need a key. We need to try and find a key somewhere. Darn it! I need the key! So polite. Darn it. Wow. Even though we got this too. As soon as. Okay. I gotta be on the low. I feel so unsafe. We go up here. Toy block. Can we crawl over? We can't. This is regretful. Gotta keep moving through. Hearing some music. That means we're definitely getting close to him. Can I still crawl the whole way? Oh no. It's him. Oh, we know. What are we gonna do though? We need the key. Can we open any of this. I think he's coming back. It's actually quicker to crawl. Let me just see. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Walking back and forth there. I like reset when I walk the other way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> We've got to go in his actual office. This is insane. <sighs> this is intense. Okay. Can't go that way. Now, that door closed awfully hard. Sherry, you should have already uh, thought about that. What's he doing? I don't see him. Always crawling. Always crawling. Bro, if that's a body, hold up. I think he literally has a body on his table right there. Wait, what the freak? Can we talk? Oh, look. This is disturbing as heck, dude. So, what's my man doing then? She's clearly dead. See on that, there's the keys. He must be occupied. This feels like some like... What do I even explain this as? What's that game called? Holy crap. The evil within. Take the key still. Where you going, Sherry? Bro, no way! You could have snatched them up. Oh, now he's gonna snatch them up. You need to learn to listen. Yeah, and you need to learn to sit down, fat so. Just please. Time to teach some manners. Throw that in his face. There you. <laughs> Woo! That crap burning his face up. Let's go. That'll teach ya. You're gonna pay for this. Oh, yeah. 
Now that feel. Now we better run, right? Should have snatched the keys up, though. We need those. Yeah. He's going to chase us down. Go, 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 go. Woo! Let me see him. Let me you see him. Let me see. So oh, my God. You've seen so him with the flashlight. Okay, what do we run to? He ain't listening, man. He ain't listening. We've got to run all the way back. All the way back. Help. Keep it moving. Somebody, please. I'm sorry, Sherry. Ain't no one here for you. Regretfully. <laughs> Stupid bitch. That's a dead end. Oh, my God. Not quite. Get okay, crawling to here. Where do we hide? Where do we hide? Where, where, where? That doesn't look like a good hiding spot. Wait, it might be, it might be. Here, here, here. Is this good? Wait, here, down here. See? That's not hiding spot. Bro, I don't know where to hide. He's so mad. He's locking the door? It's all over now! Doors locked! Gosh, what can we do? This is more intense than the liquors, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch him, watch him. Show yourself! I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be. Bro, I can't get around the corner. I just got around. This is insane. Where's he headed, huh? He's gonna bust me open a new way to go through. He is. Alright. That's our out right there. Did we maybe snatch the key off his like? Oh yeah, this is pretty bad, Sherry. My fingers like sweating on this. Uh... Be here somewhere. I could try and snatch them now. Maybe. God damn it! I don't know if I do that. I kind of feel like when he's walking, you can hear the keys moving. That's what I do. Where's he headed though? He's just gonna keep doing loops here. Basically, I think. God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my god, this is crazy. I gotta concentrate right now, guys. I'm sorry. This is really intense. So where's he headed? Son of a bitch. Please. We just have to wait. We just keep hiding. This is your last chance. Just keep Show playing yourself. the way he wants to play. Now. That's the way we want to play even because now look, we're getting caught by this dude. Where's he headed? Why are you making track? Oh. He's in a lot it of pain. <laughs> I bet it does, sucker. Maybe he uses the key and leaves it in the door. This is it. This is how we do this, man. Sherry, look, listen. I know you're young. Use that to your advantage, you know? You'll be a lighter weight. We gotta be stealthy. Let's go. Let's go. We have to get the keys right now. Okay, coming up close, coming up close. Don't turn around, don't do it. Don't. Get the keys. That's it, that's it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's time to run. Time to run. Time to run, Sherry. You got the key. It's one way out here. Where's my key? Duck, duck, duck. I see you. Oh crap, we had no chance! Alright, well we have the key. Leaves it again. Then we use it downstairs again. And then we're out of this place. Let's go. Let's go. Escaping this bull crap. Woo! This dude ain't got a chance. We're good, we're good, we're good. Use the key on here. Let's go, man. Yes! In goes the key. Just let's go. What? Oh, no way. Bro. What the freak do we do now? I have no idea. Wait, what was that? What was that? I ain't got no time. Get oh! over, Sherry. Uh, no! We had no chance. You are trapped. Let's try this door. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Cutscene? Wait. Lock it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Here's Johnny. Holy crap. But what the freak? How dare you talk to me like that? Man. All right, one more... God, oh my god, oh my god, he's right there. Lock it. No lock. The game is over. No! Wow. Dang. Look at his face. William! What? That's her father. I already knew that anyway. That was so obvious. Such an obvious plot line. She's the daughter of the people who created the G-Virus, right? Wow. 30 minutes earlier. So we're going back Good in time. How about again, that? Claire. Back to here. We've got Let's unfinished do. business. What are you talking about? Don't waste my f***ing time. Bring me the pendant or Sherry dies. Why does he want the pendant? What is it? 
pendant. What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Okay. Is Sherry all right? For now. Wow. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Well, he's dead now. Don't worry about it, okay? No, technically in the past by this point. He's already done, though. You just don't know it. Got the parking garage keycard, most importantly. Just you sweet. wait, asshole. Oh, yeah, you tell him. Okay, then, guys, and for this episode, this is where I'm going to leave it here. I felt like we made a load of progress as we're already about to head out of basically the RPD, and I guess whatever follows up. Um, I assume that Claire now has to go to the orphanage and we'll meet back up with Sherry, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plot line goes and really what happens from there on out. Exciting new stuff, though. I'm enjoying the different pace of puzzles even when we're back in the RPD, but, like, the orphanage sequence was really nice. It's made this second playthrough really worth it so far. I'm just looking forward to seeing what else we can do. If you guys did enjoy this video though, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.